Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered what's going to power the cars of the future? Well, with the world transitioning to alternative cleaner sources of fuel, there is a possibility that the answer is hydrogen. If you want to learn how this technology works, then you're in the right place. First of all, let's name the main components of these cars. We have the hydrogen tank, the fuel cell unit, the battery, the electric motor, and the power control unit. That's right, hydrogen or fuel cell vehicles also have a battery, so technically they're hybrids, but they replace gasoline for hydrogen. This means that the only thing coming out of the exhaust is the hydrogen monoxide, also known as H2O, or more commonly, water. In contrast, in the best case scenario, gasoline engines produce carbon dioxide and water, the heart of the hydrogen vehicles is the fuel cell stack and is composed of the following layers. We have the anode, the catalyst, an electrolyte membrane, and the cathode. First, hydrogen is introduced into the anode side and oxygen from the ambient air goes into the cathode. The hydrogen wants to go over to the cathode side and meet with the oxygen to form water. However, there is a problem. The electrolyte membrane only allows positively charged ions to flow through. Hydrogen having one proton and one electron is neutral. That's where the catalyst comes in and splits the electrons and the protons. The hydrogen ions are then able to go to the other side. Now something to note. Up to now I've been saying ions and not atoms. Atoms are neutral since they contain the same number of protons as electrons. Ions, on the other hand, have either a negative or positive charge. Since our hydrogen ions are positive, they still cannot react with the oxygen. The solution is to move the electrons over from the anode side. And what's another term for moving electrons? That's right, electricity. And if we place something in the current's path, in this case, let's say a motor, it can be used to power it. When the electrons finally meet with the hydrogen ions and oxygen, they react to form water. Depending on the driving mode, hydrogen cars work differently. During very low load, such as stop and go traffic, the electric motor is powered solely by the battery. During low speed cruising, the motor is powered only by the fuel cell stack. During high load, such as while accelerating on the highway ramp, the motor is powered by both the fuel cell stack and the battery. And finally, in situations where you're in free roll, such as going downhill, you enter energy recovery mode where the motor charges the battery through regenerative braking. To end things up, let's name a few pros and cons of owning a fuel cell vehicle, starting with the pros. Number one, hydrogen cars are quick to refuel, averaging three to five minutes. Just as reference, electric vehicles can take up to 12 hours depending on the charging station and battery state. Number 2. Hydrogen vehicles have a drive range comparable to gasoline cars. For example, the Toyota Mirai offers 350 to 400 miles per tank. And lastly, number 3. As we already discussed, hydrogen cars are environmentally friendly since their only emission is water. Moving to the cons. Fuel cells are very expensive. The Toyota Mirai is about $50,000. For that price, would you rather own that or a BMW? Although California does offer tax and rebate incentives to lessen the cost. Number two, hydrogen is also very expensive. At an approximate cost of $16 per kilogram, it would take $90 to fill up the Mirai's 5.6 kilogram tank. It is worth mentioning that Toyota offers $15,000 or six years worth of complimentary fuel. Number three, there are not a lot of places to refuel. This technology is relatively new and the infrastructure is not quite there yet. As of now, it's pretty much just exclusive to California. These cons have discouraged a lot of automakers from making further research and development into fuel cell. One of the few that's still making efforts to make it mainstream is, as previously mentioned, Toyota, with plans of even making a hydrogen semi-truck. Well, 
And that's it for this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps my channel to grow and get to other people. Until next time.